Hi friends, the walkthrough of my game is important, in particular because it's a narrative-based game. I've been making a lot of interactions like this one, and I've been mapping out the scenes, but it still felt like the story construction wasn't there. I had started a storyboard on Miro, and sometimes I even draw storyboards on note cards like this. This is for a different project, but also a good technique. Even with all of these techniques, I couldn't see the narrative flow with the mechanics, dialogue, all of the details. Then I started researching interactive fiction and found a variety of tools that people use to create those kinds of games. I started thinking about concept and style of interactive fiction and how I might apply it to VR. I've got some ideas. Through my research, I found a tool called Artisy. It is used for interactive storytelling and game content management. Not sure how well it'd integrate to Unity for VR, but it helped get me to the point where all of the complexities of creating my narrative game were in order. Let's walk through it. This is what it looks like when you first open it. There are some demo projects that you can check out. Let's look at my project. Here's the entire flow of my whole story. So don't look too closely. Don't want to give it away. And you can create entities, which are all your characters. Let's look at the bartender. What's nice is there is great tutorials. Since this is a really robust tool, it gets a little complex and it takes some time to get used to. So you can mark that as seen or just go ahead and close it. You can create a template here if your character has certain weapons it uses, certain stamina and all of those different details, you can create that. But I don't really need that for my characters. I do have some background or some notes in the description on some of them. And then you can create the different scenes and there's even like a location map that you can create. So what I really like about this is this helped me string together everything, all of the scenes, the characters, and then I would put notes about interactions in here. And then I could see the whole story in a really nice flow. If I just click on this and press enter, I can go into more detail of that scene and it has a character with dialogue. And then I click here and I, come out of that scene. My favorite part of this and why I found this really useful for myself is the presentation mode. When you click on that, it does start recording the way that you're moving through this presentation, kind of like a slideshow like PowerPoint. And it starts to record that right here, something that you can save and share. So the player starts in the alley, talks to the fairy for some instructions. This is the dialogue. Then they go to the doorway. There's a character there. The character speaks to the player. And if the player has already been welcomed by the badger and the player might pass the badger again, they might say something different. But this means now they can enter the club and then the fairy gives some more instructions again. And I do have this as an open space for exploration for the player so they can choose to talk to different characters. Earlier, we were looking at the bartender. So if we look at that, the player can pick up the menu or if the player doesn't pick up the menu, the skeleton will say something. So then maybe the player goes back back to the character and picks up the menu. And then when they pick up the menu, the bartender says, what can I get for you? Now let's go back here. If you were actually going to use this for interactive fiction, I believe you can put code here and bring this file into Unity and this would start working, which is really cool. I just put some commented out notes here instead, just so I can see what this condition was and because I just wanted to get the flow down. So once you've got like your whole flow down, let's just get out of here. Go back to the flow. 
you could actually export this to a Word document. So that's right here. I thought that was so cool. And so here's the Word document that it exported. So this is now another shareable file that I can give to somebody. And that is mostly what I'm using this for. I just wanted to share this tool with you because I thought that you might find this helpful as well if you're stuck like me and only want to work on the flow. This is another case where sometimes, you know, you have to take yourself outside of Unity and just work somewhere else to get that creativity coming back and all of that. So I hope you found this helpful. Thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel. I really appreciate all of my subscribers. And until next time, good luck working on your game. Thank you.